Hi. This is a guide on how beginners can set up their computer system for data analytics. Now, before we go into the process of installing the necessary application software for data analytics, why data analytics? Well, there are a lot of hypotheses, a lot of practice when it comes to data analytics. But what I want us to understand is when you talk of data analytics, it's a process of looking at a very complex data, huge amount of data, data related to weather, data related to patterns, data related to customers' information, what customers buy, data related to if it's university, student attendance, student examination, if it is in finance or in banking sectors, customer transactions, daily transactions, all these are data. So when you talk of data analytics, it is the process of how can you look at this complex data? Maybe if it's a data of 100 pages, an Excel sheet of 200 pages, how do you summarize the data? Analyze the data, provide us a graphical information that principal officers Managers can look at that data within five, 10 minutes to make a decision. That is data analytics. Which means, when you are talking of data analytics, it means fundamentally you have to look at how data can be collected, analyzed, and then visualized. So that is data analytics. Uh, so before we move to the next part, this data analytics, for me, it is kind of a skill that everybody needs. Anybody who manages information, who manages data, should be able to know how to use data analytics process in order to bring out insightful data or insightful information from a complex data. So there are a range of softwares that we can use in analyzing complex data. So I have this data, I have this list of softwares that we can use uh, in order to put a data and then analyze the data. Now, first of all is Python. Well, this is a very advanced part or very advanced uh, uh, software, but it's a programming language that you can use it to analyze a complex data. Then the second part is a software. This software is called Anaconda. It has a lot of applications that are embedded on it. So when you have that, it has even, you can do, you can do more of data analytics, which is data science as well as you can do AI with this Anaconda because it has a lot of tools installed on it. Now, the other part is uh, Microsoft Excel, which I believe a lot doesn't have Microsoft Excel installed on their computer, but Microsoft has provided with a way out, which is outlooks.live.com. When you get there, uh, you can be able to access Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel's PowerPoint without installing them on your computer because I know most of these softwares are licensed. So if you don't have the financial capability to purchase the license, you can be able to rely on these uh, outlooks.live.com. Uh, I will show us how you can be able to access it. The next tools is Tableau. This is another tool that is somehow pre but you can use it for 14 days. But if you are in a university environment, you can have a pre-license, that's educational license, that you can use it. But it's, 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 it's a tool that you need to purchase, but you can use it for 14 days. 
Now the other part is Power BI. Power BI also is one of the powerful tools that you can use when it comes to data analytics. Power BI is developed by Microsoft, which means the Outlooks or the Microsoft Excels and the Power BI, they are all Microsoft products. So let's quickly go into this and then look at how they are. This is my browser. So first of all, I will copy uh, Anaconda so that you can see. Now this is the official website. You click on download if you have a Windows operating system. If it's MacBook, you can click on this one. At the same time, you have the same copy with the one that uh, Windows users can download and use on their system. I have downloaded Anaconda on my computer, so I'm going to open the folder uh, so that we can go through the process of uh, downloading the, the software. So like I mentioned, the Anaconda has a lot of tools that can support you when it comes to data analytics, when it comes to uh, AI. So this is the copy of Anaconda I have for my computer. So double click on it after downloading. Follow the process. It depends on your computer speed. It may take some few minutes uh, before the installation process uh, get completed. Now, before this process get completed, let's go back to the next part, which is Outlooks. Now, copy this link also. Put it in your browser. I have already logged in or signed into my account. So if you don't have one, you need to create a Microsoft Outlooks account, which will give you an email address, which you can use it in sending and receiving emails. Also, at the same time, leveraging on the workspace. That means leveraging on the tools that are available on the uh, Outlooks. So click on this. You can see we have Outlooks, we have OneDrive, which you can use it to store your files. We have Word, we have Excel, we have PowerPoint, we have OneNote, we have Form, and all that. So what we are looking at is Excel. So if you don't have Excel on your computer, don't worry. Just create an account with Outlooks. You should be able to have uh, Microsoft Excel that you can use it. So when you click, it is going to open the Microsoft Excel on your browser as if the Excel or the Office package is installed on your physical computer. So you can see, I can click on blank document. And here you go. This is Microsoft Excel with all the options. Although some options will not be available, uh, as long as you haven't paid, you are just using the pre versions of Microsoft Excel on your browser, which these uh, is even, it has even more advantage than having the one installed on your uh, desktop computer or on your computer, because this, whatever you do, it will be synchronized on your OneDrive. That means with your mobile device, with your uh, computer, you can be able to access the files anywhere. So this is an Excel. If you know how to use Excel, this is how you can put all the data you have. So Microsoft Excel is one of the powerful tools when it comes to data analytics. I believe throughout the course, you should be able to learn much and much powerful or advanced tools that you can use when it comes to data analytics. Also, getting back, you can also explore Microsoft Word, which is here. But today we are talking about Microsoft Excel for data analytics, so you can be able to use that. 
All right. So uh, that is that for now. Uh, let's go back to the next tools, which is... Uh, Tableau. Copy the link, paste it in your browser. So before Tableau will enable you to create an account or to download their applications, you need to fill in this form. After I fill in the form, you should be able to download the application. So follow the process, fill in the form, and then download. You have, I think, 14 to 15 days to use the Tableau application on your computer. The next is Power BI, which earlier I mentioned that Power BI is Microsoft uh, products. It's an application that is developed by Microsoft for you to be able to visualize complex data. And uh, one advantage of Power BI is drag and drop. So all you need to do is drag the data, put it, and the Power BI will do all the visualizations and the analytics for you. Now, these are few tools that we can use when it comes to data analytics. But like I mentioned earlier, Microsoft Excel is one of the most powerful tools that is easy to use, which I believe a lot of us that are watching this video have used Microsoft Excel for one or two uh, uh, projects. So Excel is very powerful. If you already have it installed on your computer, that means you are set to explore how to analyze a complex data and uh, also i recommend you should download the power bi on your computer uh, so this is the link so just click on download you should be able to download it on your computer also i'm gonna put the link of all these softwares in the video description now getting back to this when you talk of data analysis process it is all about four processes, although there are other methodologies, other experts can expand it to many processes. But I can tell you, when you talk of data analysis, first of all, it means you need to transform the data first, data transformation, which means you have complex data. You need to clean up data, you need to remove the duplicate, okay? After removing the duplicate, some data that are having white space, blank, this and that, you should be able to do the data transformation in cleaning of the data. Now, the next part is descriptive statistic. Now, this descriptive statistic is a process whereby uh, you add some basic uh, analytics like average, medium in a data. So with that, you should be able to uh, set your data for the process of analysis. Now, the next part is the data analysis. Now, this data analysis process, like when you have clean up the data, okay, and then you follow the second step, which is the descriptive statistic, the next part is analyzing the data. In analyzing the data, maybe you can ask, what is the, maybe if you are a self person, you want to know which products customers do purchase always. This is part of data analysis. Also, you want to look at, okay, if you are a university lecturer, a professor in university, you want to analyze the performance of your student, you can now be able to look at, okay, which student perform well based on these modules or based on this course. So all these are processes that can help you in order to analyze data. So like I mentioned, Microsoft Excel has that capacity for you to be able to analyze data. So data analytics, like I mentioned earlier, is a business for everyone who is into management, anything that have to do with business. So in our day-to-day -day activities, we have to analyze most of what we are doing for us to make a very accurate decision. Now the last part is data visualizations. Uh, you know, when you have a large data, uh, more especially managers, people who are principal officers, it is difficult for them to go into 100 pages, 200 pages, 50 pages. But with the help of data visualizations, after you have followed the first, second, and third process, 
you can visualize the process or you can visualize the data in one page for them. It means this data analytics is a course or is a skills that each and everyone need to understand or need to know how to use it. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, the Anaconda has a lot of tools on it installed. For software engineers, you have a tool which is called Visual Studio Code. In our previous video, we demonstrated how to install Visual Studio Code. So when you have Anaconda installed for data analytics, at the same time you have Visual Studio Code installed. Similarly, you have Jupyter Net Notebook. So this Jupyter Notebook is for data scientists, is for data analytics, is also for machine learning and artificial intelligence. So this is the look of uh, Power BI. You install Power BI on your machine.